If you're a serious mobile executive, you've got to carry around a lot of stuff, like a notebook computer, a fax machine, a cellular phone, an electronic organizer, and all the batteries and cables so they can work together. Or you can just carry one of these. This is a personal digital assistant, a PDA. In fact, this is the expert pad from Sharp. It's their version of a Newton. In fact, it uses Newton technology from Apple. Today, we'll take a look at a whole new class of computers, PDAs, on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is brought to you in part by Intel, microprocessor technology for the software of today and tomorrow. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. And by Hewlett Packard, Personal Computer Division. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffee, and with me today is Tim Baharin, President of Creative Strategies. Hi, Stuart. Just talking to you about your Newton, which you tell me you're actually using. Newton is getting all the PDA publicity these days, but there's lots of PDAs sure. coming up. I want to show you two neat ones that just came out from England. These are lower priced, 499 bucks for each of these. This is the Amstrad. It's got all the usual things. It does right. handwriting recognition. I was entering an address uh -huh. over there. Uh, let me get out of that. And, you know, you've got your calendar, your to-do list. You've got the scratch pad function where you just want to mess around with ink. Has a real nice metaphor for getting rid of something. You just pull the page out of the book and <laughs> rip it out. This is interesting, the new Scion 3A. This doesn't have pen input, but voice input. Mm -hmm. So if I want to leave a memo for myself, I don't have to write anything down. I just go over here and say, call Tim today at 5 o'clock. And when the alarm goes off, hey, call Tim today at 5 o'clock. Nice recording Pretty picture. Pretty cool. Yeah. These are very cute toys, very expensive toys. That's the question. Are they toys or is this a business? Do people really want to spend this kind of money to write electronically? Well, it's not quite a business yet. I mean, PDA show a lot of promise, and Newton and some of the things that are coming out are actually the, the beginnings of a really exciting new category. The problem is we really need a lot of software for this to work, so we're going to have to have good support from the ISV community mm -hmm. before this really becomes a business. And when the software guys really jump in, then they'll take these things and make them sing instead of just warble. <laughs> okay. Today, we will see all the entrants in the PDA category, including Apple's Newton, the Zoomer from Casio, and the EO from AT&T. Now, if you're going to spend about 1000 bucks for a PDA, you really have to ask yourself, what do you want it to do? If what you really want is a palm-top computer, perhaps you should look at the 100LX from Hewlett-Packard. Dale Reed and Merrill Lynch are part of Chevron's highly mobile workforce in California. They use the HP 100 because it combines portable computing functions with the communications features of a PDA. You have to balance the fact that you've got a smaller screen, a smaller keyboard, with the fact that with the HP I only carry around one unit for my pager, my terminal, my schedule. Everything is, is in one small unit as opposed to a laptop, a day timer. A modem. HP 100s can share files through infrared transfer, and an HP connectivity package lets you download files from your PC. This lets you carry your desktop with you anywhere you go. For Dale Reed, that's essential, since he undergoes kidney dialysis three times a week. He gets a lot of work done during each three hour dialysis session. Thanks to his radio mail software, Dale can use the time to catch up on his email. What it enables me to do is to message. Uh, other users via internet, wh whether they're at Chevron or outside of Chevron, the internet works all over the country. And by using the MOBADIM, which is the RF modem, I don't need to connect to a telephone line. I can do it right here from my chair. Dale says that once he got acclimated to the smaller keyboard, it was like he never left the office. I like the interface capabilities of the HP 100. The fact that it is a DOS based machine, it interfaces well with my PC. Um, it runs DOS-based programs, and we, we're basically a Chevron, a DOS, and Windows shop, so it makes the communication functions and everything uh, in that area easier to use. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Janelle Patterson.